all right welcome back to the channel today we're going to be watching the boys season one episode six i'm pretty sure it's is it episode six i'm pretty sure it is no i am wrong we are on episode five actually okay so we're on episode five getting kind of mixed up because like i'm on like the same i'm on episode six and stranger things it's got a little mixed up but okay so in the last episode so there was a plane that was hijacked and still will saw this as a great opportunity to get her soups in the military not actually to save people because that's the right thing to do nah she doesn't give a fuck about that she would have let that plane go down she doesn't, she doesn't give a fuck she just wanted she just thought it as an opportunity to get her soups in the military if they save this plane you know so then congress has no reason to turn it down once the once homelander and queen brave i think her name is got on the plane they took out all the hijackers but then in the cockpit of the plane there was still one he killed the second pilot and the a shot a bullet through the window that's tough so then homelander said yeah this plane is chalked i'm out of here and obviously and queen may did not want to leave this plane but i you know i guess there was nothing they could do at that point i guess like homelander just wasn't strong enough to like carry the plane down the land i i thought he was but i guess he wasn't you know in at least clean at least queen may wanted to save a couple people you know at least two people like a children like a child you know but homelander was like no if one person survives this crash they will say what happens everyone has to die which is pretty fucked up that oppor so that opportunity to get the soups in the military kind of failed but homelander still found a way to kind of save it and spin it on the media as like oh if we oh we didn't get the call until three minutes too late if we got there three minutes earlier we could have saved it you know blah blah so it's like okay okay buddy like fuck you you know and butcher mother's milk and frenchie were all after that girl that owned mutant or whatever and they caught her at the end of the episode it was kind of a bitch it was a fucking chase to get her but we finally got her at the end of the episode he was you know kind of working starlight you know he's starting to like her a lot more he's kind of getting he's finding a new girl since robin died like can't hurt you robin he's starting to really like starlight but he does feel kind of guilty because as he was on the date with starlight he like saw visions of robin like oh shit you know which he, and it makes me think he feels guilty about it because it feels like he's almost cheating on robin even though he's technically not but they never like broke up she passed away and he's just it makes him feel super guilty which i completely understand you know it just feels wrong you know so and r.i.p the dolphin <laughs> r.i.p that fucking dolphin but anyways i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you want to watch the full length uncut version of this reaction that will be available on patreon as well, early access to the next two episodes will also be on patreon so let's get started i think i have some some good news we can go back still well she's open to us going public Ooh. lie to me hand on a bible okay bet bet but listen for us to go public you have to complain with me like i have to know who you told him oh my god he's just lying to her he just he needs to know bonnie and clyde ride or die right no he does not i don't i feel like if it came down to it, he would leave her to die if it really came down to it. I told these guys mm. you were running the V down near the noodle palace. So sorry, baby. Uh. I had to. I... Why? <laughs> there was this British guy, dark hair, real smug. Uh, they have some stuff on her that you don't want to know. You know, she, she can't really tell him why she told them that he was running the V out of the, the noodle shop because she was she cheated on him and like she killed someone but it happened while she cheated on him and so if she's like I killed someone and they caught me you know he's gonna be like how did like how why'd you kill someone how'd that happen and then you know so she can't really tell him why she told him oh bit what why 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 you just killed her Okay, I guess that overdosed her. Damn. Wow. Well, heroin I mean, overdose. Ah. Homelander made him. Fuck. So we can find this. 
fuckers who did this to you. Mm -hmm. So I can get you back home. Jesus. Oh, he has. He's brave for being that close. Even though she can't touch him. No, fuck no. These people are like family to me. <clears throat> After everything that's happened, it's actually. It's really nice to see them again. Hello. Uh, do you want an autograph? Uh, honey. <laughs> $15,000 for an exclusive VIP experience with Ezekiel. Oh, what the fuck? Dude, they're extorting religion for so much for money. Ah, that's fucked. That's 15K. That's fucked. This is from the club you took me to? Yeah, in episode one. Uh, I don't know how to blackmail anybody. Huey, you've done a murder. Comparatively speaking, this will be a piece of cake. All right, let's see what you got, Huey. Dr. Julian Barrow, an esteemed French neurosurgeon. Oh, yeah. Is she gonna say something? Pez from Evanston and her daughter, Maya. Fuck. Ah. Uh, that's the kid she wanted to save. The one person she at least wanted to try and save. Did you have sex with him? No premarital sex. No, but it's private, but <laughs> Oh no, he's like he's like say no, say no you didn't. I'm a virgin. Yeah. <laughs> Saving myself for my future husband. Yep. Okay. I think we have time for a few more. Yeah, she's realizing how like her percep like her perception of religion as she was a kid is a lot different now than it is as an adult because she probably didn't realize just like how much they excluded certain types of people in the religion. But now that she's older, she's, she could see and she's a lot more aware to it. And she sees like, it's a little bit more corrupt now. You know, if you're not this exact certain way, you cannot be with us. You're going to hell. You know, and she's like, well, that's not fucking fair. White beard, he's a wound heavy white cunt. I, I'm sorry, did you? Just call God a C word? Yeah, he's got a hug. Sorry, sir, we apologize. My man. All right, good talk. Think about it. I'm here all day. We're God. That guy's like, I can't believe you just fucking said that. I mean, I don't know. What? Come off it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's Morgan Freeman up there or anything, but. It's not? Okay. Fine. No. It's just, this place isn't what I remember. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Sin Robin again. Is there any way you could hook me up with one of those? Confession time. My dad is like Ezekiel's number one fan. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh, sure, of course. She does not like that. Okay, well, now she's starting to think he was just using her. Gonna run off and play strong single mom. Ooh. That baby is an accessory. Ooh. Dude, he's gonna kill that baby. So she'll like take him seriously or something, or that that's how he feels. And for all you know, Rebecca's still out there somewhere, and you put up a mm. fucking head stop. Stop! Hmm. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Not kill your partner. And oh, I okay, this is a fucking TV show or something. I was about to say, I thought she died. He misses her. Damn. Say it. You're a filthy pig who likes to eat. Oh, it's the recording. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah. Easy, that's We ain't here to hurt you. Who are you? Oh, now he sees like Butcher and Frenchie's faces. No, not Butcher, just Frenchie. Oh no. He does he recognize him? I don't know, but now he knows why why she told them. Uh since when do you guys run down stuff alone? Trevor. Yeah? Shut up. <laughs> Dude, fifteen thousand dollars for this interaction right here. It's what someone would normally pay, but let's see how this goes. Right? Oh. Starlight's friend. 
Fuck. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Good to meet you, pal. Oh, I'd be fucking trembling. I'd be shaking so hard. Must be a special guy. I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, he's not gonna be able to blackmail him now. With, especially with Homelander there. Like, what the f I would not, I would pussy out so bad. Something wrong, Huey? Uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm totally comfortable. Why, why would you ask that? <laughs> Blood pressure is 150 over 90. Oh, fuck. It's a bit high. Yeah, sorry, just, um, I'm afraid of water. <laughs> Don't panic. I got you. Duh. Then I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Damn, oh. wait. He did that one kind of aggressively. Wait, he's holding him down there. Wait. Wait, oh my, what are you doing? Dude, you held him down there for a little longer than you're supposed to. He does not trust you, E. Thank you for coming. May the light of God shine in your lives. Excuse me, sir. Oh, fuck, Huey. No, no, no. I need Christ's guidance. Oh, God. What is it? <laughs> he seems fucking annoyed. No, Huey, no. Oh, his phone doesn't work because he got dumped in the water. Wrapped your stretchy arms around me and it was it was so fucking hot and oh god your dick was so perfect and long and <laughs> stretchy and you you played my skill and willingness to improvise yeah he's trying to improvise right now <gasps> oh fuck <laughs> Huey what do you think was gonna happen you know my friend puts the video online like that <clears throat> mm-hmm they're compound V Hmm. Who the hell are you? Yeah, he's like, how do you know all this? Okay, you tell me, you tell me where they're going, and you tell me how many boxes you ship. No. No, they will destroy me. Who's they? Hmm. Trends, number one on Twitter. Tonight. And you're also gonna stop the fucking pray the gay away shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. Anyway, it's your choice. I like how he added that last one in there. I got baptized. Yeah. It's a long story. Blackmailing somebody is not cake. Yeah, it's fucking not. Yeah. It's scary. You wind up just saying shit. <laughs> okay, but did you get in the talk? What do you say? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you know that. Oh, his phone works now. Oh, great. It's, uh, it's Midtown, I think. You are a natural, kid. You're like the fucking rain man of fucking people over. Yeah, because he believes she's still alive. Fuck. All right, now she's gonna get him back. She's gonna do. She's gonna discipline him or something. He's gonna tweak. You've been drinking. No. She just feels guilty about the plane. What happened? This is too hard. Tell me what happened. I keep thinking about all, all those people. Yeah. All the people on the plane. <gasps> you always know what to So just they tell don't. me what happened. Tell me what happened. Homelander let a 123 people die. It's just a mistake. No, just talk to me. Just tell me what... If you... Damn. I mean, at least she didn't tell her what actually happened on the plane. Because if someone knows, it's, to you, babe. you know. Black Noir was outside my apartment. Oh, fuck. That's right. What location? Which addresses do they have? If they got to my place, all of them. Fuck. Oh, I just had to pop down the shop. I was running a bit low on mind your own fucking business. <laughs> <laughs> what about the girl? Fucking labor. Damn. God knows what they'll do to her. So on suit violence ain't our concern, mate. Butcher. I said fucking labor. Fuck. No, French is gonna try and save her. French is too good of a guy. Mom, I can't do this. I can't be fake. I really thought that being here would feel like it used to, but it doesn't. It's changed, or maybe I've changed. Yeah. 
mom. She's noticing. She notices a lot more about it now that she's older. She sees how corrupted it is now. Mr. Charcutier, you know, I know they'll comply. That's how he sees me. Like this mad bastard. Mm, okay, okay, look. Here, here's the thing. If I was Frenchie, I would take her if I knew for sure she wasn't going to fucking kill me immediately. But she, but she looks like she wants to go. Please don't kill him. Please don't kill Frenchie. Please. I'll turn this video off right now if she just kills him immediately. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Finds himself in hot water following a hair. Oh my god. <laughs> Insiders say when police try to intercept the hijacked van, Deep lost control. Oh, he's stress eating. Catapulting the dolphin oh through the front windshield onto the road. How his way is the only way. God. So manip It's so manipulative. I believe in God. I love God so much, but honestly, it's it's just how goddamn certain everyone is around here. Mm -hmm. Oh, still is gonna be pissed. How does anybody know when the Bible was written? Life expectancy was thirty years old. <laughs> Shit. And if you have sex before marriage, that's that's not immoral. That's human. Exactly. What's immoral is the guy who shoved his dick in my face. Oh. Yes, expose him. <laughs> and I know, I know, I'm supposed to be this hero, idol, symbol, whatever, but I don't know what the hell I'm doing. See, people are going to respect her more for saying this, but it's, it's not the corporate image Stillwell wants him to portray. But the people can appreciate how vulnerable she's being. God, he looks fucking terrified. Like, is he gonna die for what he did now? <laughs> or just get kicked off the team? I don't know. Oh, uh, he was the only one clapping. Jackpot. Ooh. They're putting in a babies? <laughs> Holy Jesus. fuck. Holy fuck. Big baby soup. Okay, so they're manufacturing soups now. Shows them both got my ass. These cunts are made in the fucking lab. Oh, okay, yeah. So the, the superheroes aren't born with their abilities, they're just made in a lab. Wow. They've always been. Okay. Thought that, that suggested that it was a newer thing, but no, it's always been like that, I guess. Come on, I mean, know your audience, but that was like, that was... Joel at the garden, that was... I... That was great. Oh no. I'm she... so glad. How was your quality time with Ezekiel? Uh... Any more VIP tickets I can get for you? Because I'm so here for you. It's... Yeah. Or a goodie bag. My girlfriend died. And that wasn't fair to you, and I'm so sorry. Huh. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Dude, I love how they could just like, like talk to each other and then just not be mad at each other anymore. Just like that. Like adults. Wow. That's fucking refreshing. Like they're both listening to each other. Wow. <laughs> Never seen that before. Let's bugger off. All right. <gasps> What'd you do? What's your last son? <gasps> oh no. <laughs> That's smart. That's smart. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Bro, it's like blade and sorcery cutting people's heads off. Now you keep your nose clean, sunshine. Or I'll come back and stomp you. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> I know you're watching me. You've been out there quite a lot lately. 
Oh, that's what he does. When he looks at the poster, is he looking at her office? Have I not been paying enough attention to you? No. Are you lonely? It must be hard feeling so alone. I'm sorry. Damn, she's really fucking hitting home right here. Oh god. Is she really about to do this to him? You have to be good. Gotta be a good boy. And you have to listen to me. She's like a mother figure to him. Okay, this is a little weird to be a mother figure. <laughs> He's a big baby. Damn, Hubble Hunter's a little submissive. <gasps> oh. <laughs> ah, I knew it. Okay, let's see what this guy can do, because we haven't we've barely seen him. Oh, the girl got him. Oh, she saved him. Alright, let's see, let's see what he can do. Okay, this is cutting way too fucking fast. Like, ah, oh, he, and he killed her. Damn. R R I P. He kind of reminds me of Deathstroke. Oh, Frenchie! No, he found her. No, 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 no. She's dead. At least it was a quicker death than like them capturing her and torturing her and shit. Oh, wait, 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 she's not dead. <laughs> Wonder this time. All right, bad. Oh, oh, okay. She can. If she's okay, she could regen then. Okay. Like Wolverine. Okay, so now she like fully trusts them. Okay, bad. Damn, they fucking pump faked us right there. All right. Well, that was season one, episode five of The Boys. Let's talk about it. All right, so that was The Boys season one, episode five. Now, in this episode, we found out that they're giving babies compound V. So they're ma they're manufacturing all the superheroes. They're not actually born this way. So, okay. Okay, that makes me wonder. So the baby that Stillwell had was carrying around with her. It's a manufactured superhero and it's like it seems like her own little personal superhero that she cares about the most so and she's like a mother figure to homelander too which okay like so that's how star stillwell is kind of just manipulating homelander you know and like i guess he sees her as like a mother so he doesn't want to disappoint her but he doesn't want to be bossed around too much so okay interesting dynamic they got there a very interesting they interesting relationship Okay, I didn't mention this when I was watching it, but, okay, so, A-Train, so he found out that his girlfriend betrayed him, so he had to kill, he had to kill her and cover it up as if she overdosed on heroin, and like, dude, he did that shit so fucking fast, she didn't have, like, a second to even realize it, like, the needles were just in her arm before she knew it, and, like, when I thought, dude, like, super speed, I think, is, like, honestly, the most OP superpower you could have, because, Dude, he's just too fucking fast for you to do anything, you know? Like, he, like I think he's, I think that makes him kind of the most powerful soup there is. Now, Homelander is pretty damn powerful, but unless Homelander has super speed to match it, then, like, he's just too fucking fast, you know? What are you going to do about it then? Like, I don't know if Homelander has super speed or not. Like, I think that's just the most OP superpower you could have. Because you're... Before you know it, you've just been punched in the face and stabbed or whatever. You've just been killed before you can even process what just happened. Like, you blink and then you're dead. So unless there's someone to match, unless like, yeah, you can perfectly time something against him. Like, sure, you could do that in theory, but it's like the odds of that happening very low. Maybe Homelander could do it, but still, still, I don't know. Like, you'd have to perfectly time your strikes against him 
you know you'd have to know exactly what you have to you'd have to predict exactly what he's gonna do before he does it and then go based off that but very strong chance a train is waxing anyone so and then in this episode this was about starlight kind of kind of realizing that religion wasn't everything she thought it was when she was a kid you know she probably saw it very differently as a kid now she's grown she has her own perspective her own opinions she can look at it and be like yeah this is not this is not what I thought it was, you know? They're insanely strict. Now, I feel like the show really like emphasized that part of it because they said like, this is the only way a lot in this episode. And they really emphasized that, you know, like they're making it seem like they're literally brainwashing everyone in the crowd. Like, no, this is the only way to live, you know? And it's like when they were in that group meeting, you know, and they're asking Starlight like, the questions, she was like, oh, my neighbor is under a different re uh, religion. And then the head, the guy in charge was like well you should go and talk to your neighbor so you can help them out like help them out like no bro no no i know they're not just emphasizing that in the show like it's in it's like that in real life too like i've like i've heard people talk like say shit like that and it's like dude no let people do what they want to do make, let them make their own decisions you know you shouldn't try and force it on them and be like no this is the only way to live like if you want <sighs> You're never going to convince someone like that. You will never convince me to do that if that's how you're if that's going to be your approach. You know, you just got to let people make their own decisions. Let them do what they want to do and just accept everyone for who they are. You know, and this religion doesn't do that. So and Starlight doesn't she doesn't fuck with that. You know, she let people like who they like. Let them make their own decisions. It doesn't fucking matter. That's why I like Starlight, because she she's for the people. She's genuinely for the people. And she doesn't fuck with any of this. So that's why she went off in her speech at the end right there. She's like, no, I don't agree with any of this. She's like, I love God, but I don't love this way of living. It's not fucking right. She's like, it's not right. Starlight's like the literally she's literally Steve Rogers. She's literally Steve Rogers, guys. I'm telling you. And we kind of got to see what Black Nora could do, what how like what he's capable of. And I I like him. I like him a lot. He's really stealthy, you know, and quiet. You know, he's not going to make a lot of noise. He's going to do everything really, really quietly. You're not even going to notice he did it. So that's probably why A-Train brought him. So because like when they were talking to the people at the computers, you know, they were like, yeah, we're going to do this on our own. And the guy was like, why are you doing this on your own? And then A-Train was like, dude, shut the fuck up. Just tell us where he, where they are and just tell us where he is, you know? And so that's probably why he brought him with him. He brought Nor with him just so they could do this undercover and not like bring any attention. So. He reminded me of like, of like Deathstroke. But yeah, that was The Boys season one, episode five. Comment down below what you thought about this episode. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.